Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Faras Haidari Hansa. I am from Bekasi. On this sunny occasion, I will present the results of my presentation. So far with the food time. When I present, you are expected to focus your eyes on the presentation. This so that it's not too long to open I solve start now to number one. Number one is dumpling. Dumpling is put in the form of mince. Meat wrapped in flour. After boiling for a while, dumplings are usually served in soup. In addition to boiling, dumplings are also fried with lots of cooking oil to crackers. Wonton. Wonton is one type of dim sum. The, con the contents of dumplings are generally made from shrimp or vegetables in Indonesia. The contents are, of dumplings are mainly made from shrimp of a mixture of chicken and shrimp with add ginger, onions, and cup chopped garlic. Seasoning for dumplings content can be in the form of soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. Dumpling skin is made from dough of flour, water, and kitchen salt. The dough is thin and cut into square pieces. Besides being, up, being able to make it yourself, dumpling skin, care, skin can be bought in packages containing 10 to 20 pieces. When making shumai, not meatball tofu, dumpling skin is used as a wrap of minced meat. In Indonesia, it is also known as bread dumpling skin with hot content. Various Indonesian foods that use dumplings, for example, soup dumpling, fried dumplings, gravy fried dumplings, du dumpling noodles, and chewy nut, nut noodle. In a soup dumpling noodle dish, dumplings are often served separately in a small, small bowl. In addition, dumplings are usually also served with a bowl of beef meatballs. Most Malang meatballs use dumplings in addition to filling meatballs. Next, next is mochi. Mochi is Japan, Japanese cake made of sticky rice, pounded so, so that is soft and sticky, then separate into a round in Japan. This Cakes are often made and eaten during traditional mochitsuki celebration or Japanese New Year celebration. However, this type of cake is sold and can be obtained at, at cake shops throughout the, the year. It has a distinctive taste that is soft when it is first eaten, and over time it becomes sticky. Next, fried rice. Fried rice is a dish of fried as rice fried in a skillet, skillet or frying pan, producing a, a different taste because it is mixed with spice such as garlic, onion, pepper, and sweet soy sauce. In addition, supplementary ingredients such as eggs, vegetables, seafood, or meat are added. These foods are often eaten alone or accompanied by other dishes. Fried rice is a popular component of a Southeast and South Asian cuisine in certain regions as a homemade dish. Fried rice is usually made with ingredients left off, over from other dishes, which leads to an, unlim to an unlimited variety, being an economic support. The same thing happened to fried noodles of Tipana. Next. The next is Fuyong Hai. Fuyong Hai are commonly called Fuyong Hai or Fuyong He is Chinese food, food made from eggs which are thickened with a mixture of vegetables, meat or seafood. The contents of the mixture can be finely chopped pork, chicken, beef, crab meat, and so, so on. Fu, Fuyong Hai is eaten with sweet and sour sauce which is usually made from tomatoes and peas. But there is also a sauce accompanied by a piece of pineapple in it. Fuyong's name means piece of egg yong. Fu. This, this dish comes from Chinese recipes in Shanghai. Next. The next is bakpao. Bakpao is traditional Chinese food known as a buano in Indonesia because it was aboard as absorbed from Hokkien which was spoken by the majority of Chinese people in Indonesia. Pau means packet and like that means meat. So, so buns mean package, package containing meat. Bak pau in Hakka or cake in Yung Pau or Yung Pau which has the same meaning namely rapid meat. 
Next. The next is Fred Nadal. Fred Nadal means Fred Nadal's are foods that are popular and popular in Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Fried noodles are made from yellow noodle fried in a little cooking oil and added garlic, charlotte shrimps, and chicken of or beef sliced meatball, chili, vegetables, tomatoes, chicken eggs, and pickles. This food is very popular and can be found everywhere in Indonesia, ranging from roadside mer merchants to hike and restaurants. Fried noodles can also be found in mamak stalls in Malaysia and Singapore. The version of instant noodles from fried noodles is also very popular, such as indomie, mie goreng. This dish originates from chow mein, Chinese noodles, and is believed to have been brought by Chinese migrants to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Fried noodles are also similar to yakisoba from Japan. However, fried noodles have been so ingredient, ingredient integrate into Indonesian culinary arts. For example, fried noodles are and sweet soy. And sweet soy sauce as an important ingredient. To sweet the Indonesian people who are mostly Muslims. Fried noodles usually do not use pork or pork fat. Usually fried noodles use shrimp, shrimp, shrimp chicken or beef. Next, the next is satay. Satay is food made from meat which is cut into small pieces and pierced in such a way as to puncture sticks of coconut leaves for bamboo or bamboo then bake using wood curcumin coals. Satay is served with a variety of spices depending on variation in the satay recipe. Meat used as satay includes chicken, goat, lamb, beef, pork, rabbit, horse and others. Satay is known to have originated from Java, Indonesia, and can be found anywhere in Indonesia and has been considered as one of Indonesia's national cuisines. Satay is also popular in other Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Singapore, the, Philipp the Philippines, and Thailand. Satay is also popular in the Netherlands, which is influ influenced by Indonesia, cuisine which was once its colony. Satay is a very popular dish in Indonesia, with various ethnic groups and the tradition of the art of cooking. See Indonesian cuisine. Has produced, has produced various types of satay. In Indonesia, satay can be obtained from traveling satay, traders, street vendors, and roadside stalls to upscale restaurants and often served in pa parties and festivals. The sets and ways of making satay are varied depending on the variety and recipe of each region. Almost all types of meat can be made satay. As a country of origin of satay, Indonesia has variety of rich satay recipes. The next, the next is rendang. Rendang is a spicy flavored meat dish that uses a mixture of various herbs and spice. This, this dish is produced from a cooking process that it had repeatedly with coconut milk. The cooking process takes hours, usually around four hours, to dry and it and is pitch black at room temperature. Rendang can last for weeks. Rendang cooked in in a shorter time and the coconut milk has not dried up called kalio golden brown in color rendang can be found in padang restaurants throughout the world this cuisine is popular in indonesian and other southeast asian countries such as malaysia singapore brunei philippines and thailand in the area in the area of origins minang origin minangkabau Rendang is served in various traditional ceremony and special event. Altau rendang is a traditional Minangkabau cuisine. Oh, it's it's region in Minangkabau has cooking technique as well as different choice and uses of herbs. Next, the next is meatball. Meatballs or meatballs are a type of Meatball that is commonly found in Indonesia cuisine. Meatballs are generally made from a mixture of ground beef and tapioca flour, but there are also meatballs made from chicken, fish, or shrimp, and even buffalo meat. 
In the presentation, meatballs are generally served hot with clear beef, broth mixed with noodles, rice noodles, bean, bean sprout, tofu, sometimes eggs, uh, egg, and spring with fried onions and celery. celery. Meatballs are very popular and can be found throughout Indonesia from street vendor to large restaurants. Many types of meatballs are now being offered in the form of frozen food, sold in supermarket or, or malls. Sliced meatball can also be used as a, comp a complement to other types of food such as a fried noodles, fried rice, or chai stem. Next. The next is chicken soto. Chicken soto is a typical Indonesian food in the form of a kind of chicken soup with a yellowish sauce. Yellowish sauce. This yellow color is caused by tur turmeric, which is used as a spice. Soto ayam is found in many areas in Indonesia and Singapore. In addition to chicken, the ingredients used also include boiled eggs, potato slices, celery leaves, and fried onions. Sometimes soto is also served with rice cake or white rice. In addition, chicken soup is also often served with chili, crackers, and koya, a mixture of crushed crackers with garlic. Next, the next is onde onde. It's a kind of market snacks cake that is popular in Indonesia. This cake is very popular in it, in the area of Mojokerto, which is river to as the city of Onde Onde since the time of Majapahit. Onde can be found in traditional markets or sold at street vendors. Onde Onde is also popular especially in Chinatown arts area, both in Indonesia and abroad. Onde Onde made from flour or sticky rice, fried or boiled and the surface sprinkled, covered with sesame seeds. There are various variations, the best known of which are made from sticky rice flour and filled with green bean powder. Other variations are only made from wheat flour and given a color on the surface such as white, red, or green, which is known as wheat dumpling, which are typical dumplings from the city of Mojokerto. The next. the next is chicken noodle. Chicken noodles or chicken noodles are Indonesian dishes made from well, boiled yellow noodles that sprinkled with special soy sauce and chicken and vegetables. Chicken noodles are sometimes added with meatballs, dumplings, and mushroom. Noodles come from China, but similar chicken noodles in Indonesia are not found in China. Situation need chicken noodles are originally from South China especially from port areas such as Fujian and Guangdong. Citation needed. Although noodles are not native to Indonesia, they are now noodles. Chicken seems to have become a traditional Indonesian food. This food has spread throughout Indonesia, especially in Java. This food is very easy to find. Popular sellers of chicken noodles in Indonesia come from Wonogiri. Next, Next is Mpempe. Pempe or empe empe is Palembang specialty food made from soft ground fish meat and starch, mistakenly often referred to as sago flour, as well as se several other compos compositions such as eggs, must garlic, flavoring, and salt. Actually, it is difficult to say that the central pempe snack are in Palembang because almost all regions in South Sumatra produce them. Pempe can be found very easily throughout the city of Palembang. There are those who sell in restaurants. Some are on the side of the road, and some are carried in the 1098. One the sellers use it to carry a basket full of mpempe while while walking around selling food. Next, the next is chicken opor. Chicken opor is a dish that is very well known in Indonesia. This cuisine has been widely known in other regions, even almost all regions of, of Indonesia. Chicken opor is actually boiled chicken which is given thick spice from coconut milk which are added 
with various pies such as lemo, lemongrass, kencur, and so on in the Japanese tradition. The eighth celebration is usually made lively by making ketupat, which is served with chicken opera and filled liver sambal. Next, klepon. Klepon or klepon is a kind of traditional Indonesian food or cake that belongs to the market snack group. This food is made from sticky rice flour which is shaped like small balls and filled with brown sugar and then boiled in boiling water. The cooked klepon is the rolling over the grated coconut so that is attached so that the klepon appears to have grated coconut. Usually klepon is placed in a container made of banana leaf. In Sumatra and in Malaysia, klepon is called onde onde, while in Java and other parts of Indonesia, snacks called onde onde or bebola or rice flour containing green bean dough, dough which is wrapped in sesame seeds. The mention of difference between Java and Sumatra, Malaysia is often the cause of errors and confusion in inter interrating dumplings. Klepon is usually sold with ketuk and cenil, also called cetil. As a snack in the morning or evening, the color of the klepon is usually white or green depending or on taste. For klepon with green, you need to add coloring ingredient from suji leaves or pandan leaves. Next, next is ketoprak. Ketoprak is one type of Indonesian food using ketupat which is easy to find. Usually ketupat is sold using a, a stroller on the streets or on the sidewalk. Ketoprak is authentic Indonesian food. The main components are tofu, vermicelli, cucumber, beans, sprout, and can also use boiled eggs supplement with peanut sauce sweet soy sauce and a sprinkling, sprinkling of red salad can also be served with additional cracker or cheese melinjo some version also include tempeh as a component the tool used to process ketoprak is not difficult you just need to press and knife the next is bakpia Bakpia is a food made from a mixture of green beans with sugar which is wrapped in flour then baked. The term bakpia itself is derived from the Hokkien dialect which is from the word bak which means meat and pia which means cake which literally means bread containing meat in some area in Indonesia. This food that feels legit is known as pia or pia cake. Bakpia is one of the popular food from Chinese or Chinese families on of the well-known bakpia is from the Patuk Patok area, Yogyakarta, so that it so that it is known as bakpia patok. Considering the majority of Yogyakarta people are Muslim is in its development the contents of bakpia which was originally pork was changed to green beans. Then the te the test the test of the back the back pia are developed into chocolate cheese green spice and black spice the next the next is cireng cireng is a snack or originating from the sunda region that is made by frying the mixture of dough made from starch or tapioca these snacks are very popular in the priangan area and are sold in in various forms and variation of taste, this food is quite from in the. This food includes starch, flour, water. Flo the food includes starch, flour, water, pepper, pepper powder, salt, garlic, soybeans, leeks, and cooking oil. Along with the times, cheering has been innovated until the variety or or flavors that include chicken beef, sausage, meatballs, to cheese, to cheese and teriyaki chicken. Even, even innovation is not only test but from, for example, Chimol. Now, Chirang is not only found in Priangan but has spread to almost all parts of the archipelago. Chirang which used to be sold by traders who ride bicycle with equipment to make Chirang on the back on the 
on their bicycle has even been available online sireng the next the next is otak 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 is a food made from minced mackerel with wrapped in banana leaves bacon and served with spicy sour sauce this snack is popular in the area around the Ma the Malacca Strait and Karimata Strait, such as the Rio Island, Singapore, and Malaysia, but it is also widespread in various cities in Sumatra and Java. In Malaysia, Muar is, uh, is famous for his brains. In Indonesia, the 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 otak otak are often in Tanjung Pinang and Palembang. Next, the next is liver rice. Liver rice is a typical food of the city of Solo and is a culinary native to the Baki region. Sukoharjo Regency rice liver is savory rice cooked with coconut, similar to uduk rice, which is served with pumpkin, siam, shredded chicken, chicken meat cut into small pieces, and are a kind of savory porridge from coconut. Resident of the city of Solo and its surroundings usually eat rice liver every time from breakfast to dinner. Liver rice is usually sold around with bamboo biscuit by mother who carry it fed every morning or salt in lesser hand stock with hot chair. The most famous place for selling liver rice lesser hand stalls in the Cap Caprabon area which only sells at night. The centers of liver rice traders are often found in Duet and Manuran village, Baki district, Sukoharjo Regency. Gradu gradually, this, this, this starts to become popular and many sellers of liver rice appear. For the first, the name is Mbah Kato, Said Nurwanto, explaining what was the first generation to sell nasi liver. Mbah Kato is a native of Manuran village and is known to start feeding his rice in the Keprabon area, Solo. Next, next is Tingur Rujak, is one of the traditional foods that is usually found in the area of East Java, especially its native, its native Surabaya in Javanese. The word Tingur means mod this refers to the, to the ingredients of a slice, mod or a snout of a cow that is boiled and mixed into a distinct or rujak usually consists on of slice of several several types of fruit such as cucumber, terahi, es java, cucumber, mengkuang, your young mango, pineapple, kedondong, eh, then address, cake, tofu, tempe, bendoyo, cingur, and vegetables such as sprouts beans, sprouts, kale, and long beans. All of the ingredients were mixed with sauce or spice made from processed shrimp paste, boiled water for a little thinning, sugar or brown sugar, chili fried peanuts, chili fried peanuts, fried onion, salt, and thin slice of young green banana seeds, lutup banana, all slows, slice, or spice are mixed with a way of kneading which is why chingur salad is also often called rujak ulak. Next, the next is yakiniku. Yakiniku is Japanese term for meat that is baked or burned on fire in a, in a broad sense. Yakiniku also includes various dishes of beef, pork, or baked oval such as beef stick, roasted lamb, jing, jingisukan, and barbecue. The meat is roasted on fire from charcoal or gas by using a grid of iron on a plate of iron pan. Rectangular pieces of meat are often pierced with puncture of metal before baking at the Yakiniku restaurant after baking. After baking a rather large meat often needs to be cut with scissors in front of visit visitor. The next, the next is chicken porridge. Chicken porridge is one type of porridge from from Indonesia. Rice rice porridge is rice cooked with 
plenty of water so it has a soft and runny texture. Porridge is usually served in hot or warm temperatures. Chicken porridge is served with sliced chicken with some spices such as soy sauce and sweet soy sauce, pepper salt, and sometimes given chicken stock. Porridge come with sprinkling of chopped legs, fried onions, celery, tong chai, salted vegetable, fried soybeans, chakwee, and crackers. Chicken porridge is suitable for those who don't like spicy Indonesian cuisine because porridge is generally not spicy. Chili sauce or chili sauce is served separately. Chicken porridge is often a food choice for breakfast, but chicken porridge can actually be eaten anytime. Besides breakfast, chicken porridge is often a choice of warm dishes in the middle of the night because the texture is soft, warm, and has a good nutritional content. Chicken porridge is often used as food or for baby, children, or sick people who are being tried for recovery. Next, the next is chapchai. Chapchai is a Hokkien dialect which means literally various vegetables. Chapchai is the name of a popular Chinese special specialty that is typical because it is cooked from many kinds of vegetables. The amount of vegetables is uncertain, but many mistakenly think that the stem of chai must contain ten kinds. Uh, vegetables because literally it means 10 vegetables. The stem in the Hokkien dialect also means 10 and ka and chai means vegetable. Some types of vegetable that use you that are usually li label, labeled as chai are mustard greens, mustard greens, carrots, young corn, straw, mushroom, mushroom, cabbage, peas, beans, cauliflower, broccoli, leeks, tomatoes, and onion. Never tells animals or elements are also commonly added to these foods. For example, beef, chicken, egg, liver and chicken gizzard, shrimp, meatball, squid. Next. The next is amplang. Amplang is a traditional snack mode made from fish served in Samarinda. Indonesian and later famous in East Kalimantan, North Kalimantan, and the East Coast of Sabah, Malaysia. Amplang is made from mackerel fish, which is mix, mixed with rice and other ingredients and then fried. Next, next is tom yam. Tom yam is a soup from Thailand. This soup is one of the famous day Thai foods. In Thailand, tom yam is is usually made with shrimp tom yam gong, chicken tom yam gai, fish tom yam pla, or, sea, or seafood mixer tom yam talai or tom yam potek, and mushroom. Next, the next is the, the next is laksa. Laksa is a type of noodle food placed in in spice with the pra Peranakan culture which is combined with Chinese and Malay elements. Laksa has several types, the best known being the type of laksa penang, the shape of the noodle is round, wet, and slightly thick. In Indonesia, there are also several types of laksa, such as Bogor laksa and Betawi laksa. The name laksa is taken from Sanskrit which was, has many meanings indicating that laksa noodles are made with various spice. Next, the next is pizza. Pizza is a very dish from Italy that is a kind of round and flat bread, which is baked in the oven and is usually covered with tomato sauce and cheese with other select, selectable ingredients. Cheese used in is usually mozzarella or cheese pizza. Other types of ingredients can also be placed on pizza. Usually, meat and sauce such as salami and pepperoni, ham, bacon, fruits such as pineapple and olive, vegetables such as chili and paprika, and also onions, mushroom, and others. 
The bread is usually made like ordinary bread but can be added with but butter, garlic, herbs, or sesame. Pizza is usually eaten while hot, usually for lunch and dinner. But some are served cold, usually eaten for breakfast or during a picnic. Pizza is usually eaten in restaurants, bar, a wholesale markets or supermarkets, and can also be ordered by telephone or via or via the web to be delivered hot and ready to be eaten at home. The next, next is takoyaku, takoyaki. Takoyaki is the name of the food from the Kansai region in Japan in the form of small balls with a diameter of 3 until 5 cm made from flour, flour filled with paste of octopus in it. The next is Okonomiyaki. Is Japanese Okonomiyaki is Japanese food with flour which is diluted with water or desi plus cabbage, chicken egg, seafood or, or pork and fried on a flat pan called tepan. Okonomiyaki is one type of te tepanyaki cuisine that can be eaten just like that or as a side dish of white rice. Okonom Okonomiyaki is often eaten with a flat spoon called cod hera which also function as a soda drink. Turning okonomiyaki in Japanese. Okonomiyaki means likes, preferred, dessert, and yaki means. Plus, that the term fried is only used in Japan when food is fried in very much oil. The, as the name implies, the okonomiyaki topping can be adjusted to the taste of those who want to eat. Next. The next is hamburger. Hamburger, or often called burgers, are a type of food in the form of a round shape, bread sliced in two and in the middle filled with patties, which are usually taken from meat, then vegetables in the form of lettuce, tomatoes, and onion. As the as a sauce, burger are different various types of sauce, such as mayonnaise tomato sauce and chili and mustard some burger variants are also equipped with cheese pickles and other complementary ingredients such as sausage and ham the next is chombro chombro is a typical fried food from west java or sunda Chomro is one of many Sunda, Sundanese for foods named after the ingredient Chomro stands for Onchom in Jero. Onchom inside Chomro is in, indeed made from grated cassava which is separate round or oval and filled with Onchom sauce then fried. The next is misro. Misro is a typical food from West Java made from great cassava, the, the inside of which is filled with brown sugar then fried, because that is called misro which stands for amis in Jero, Sundanese meaning sweet inside. The shape is round and this food is good to eat when it's warm. Next, the next is Roll bread. Roll bread is a kind of flat bread with Indian influence, which is found in Indonesia. This bread can be found in Mamak Outlet in Singapore or in Aceh and West Sumatra. Restaurant in Indonesia in Singapore bread like this is called bread prata. The shape and material are similar to Kerala parotta. This bread is very flat because it is made by rotating in it until it's thin, then fold and bake with oil, or you can also spread the dough as thin as possible on the, the grill.
next the next is ramen ramen is a japanese noodle shop originating from china next and next is dim sum dim sum is a malaysia broadcast service launched in november the service operates a subscri subscription video channel rocks mobile and web application application dim sum offers television series and shows from native television networks and content partner in asia which include includes china japan taiwan thailand south korea and malaysia next the next is dodol dodol is a sweet snack from indonesia as well as malaysia the process of making high quality dodol requires a long time and requires special expertise the main ingredients for making dodol are coconut milk sticky rice flour granulated sugar brown sugar and salt Additional ingredients in dodol that are meant to taste dodol from durian is called dodol durian. Dodol from short soap is called dodol short soap. Dodol from jackfruit is called dodol jackfruit. Dodol from ginger is called dodol ginger. The typical garut dodol is called dodol garut. Kandangan dodol South Kalimantan is called dodol kandangan. Durian dodol is also called lempok. If it's only called dodol called dodol then the dodol is only made from sticky rice flour brown sugar and coconut milk in central and east java dodol is called jenang jenang is softer, softer than dodol greasy wetter and is generally sold in the form of plates or plastic jenang slice according to buyer's request dodol in dryer tight cut to size 2 cm 1 cm 3 cm dodol packs in the form of plastic or baking paper and are sold in large quantity in cardboard currently dodol is starting to attract consumer consumers from other countries including the net the netherlands brunei darussalam singapore and malaysia The next is lumpia. Lumpia is a kind of traditional Chinese snack. Spring rolls that are known by Indonesian are pronunciation for Hokkien. Spring rolls consist of a thin sheet of wheat flour which is used as wrapper for filling which are generally bamboo, sauce, so egg, fresh vegetables made or seafood. In Indonesia, spring rolls are known as typical Semarang snack with procedures for making and ingredients that have been adapted to local tradition. The next is Solo Sausage. So, Solo Sausage is a typical food from Solo City, Central Java province, which is made from ground beef or chicken then wrapped with egg omelet this food was adapted from sausage in the dutch colonial era which was later changed and adapted to the space and local style of the solo city community so that so that it became a regional specialty it is said that kanjeng sunan Bowono X then himself composed and coconut and concord the first time but another source said that solo sausage was made because the people of Kepengen tried the favorite food of minors and noni dutch even though the adoption of external food the taste and appearance of sausage solo is very distinctive and different from sausage in other regions there are two types of solo sausage that are known namely Solo sausage with wet is a steamed sausage solo and fried solo sausage. The next is getuk. Getuk is a snack made with the main ingredients of cassava or cassava getuk is a food that is usually found in Central and East Java. The making of getuk starts from the cassava peel, the steaming or boiling after being 
cooked then pounded or mashed by grinding and then sweetening sugar and food coloring for savoring it is usually pecan with red coconut Philip Filipino Afghan Sri Lanka South Africa and Indonesian cuisines this food is made from white rice which is mixed with anato turmeric or or turmeric which is used to give the color yellow South African yellow rice which is served from Tanjung Melayu cuisine usually consisting of rain, rain, raisins, sugar and cinnamon bark makes a very sweet rice dish which is served as a staple food for sour dish and curry in Sri Lanka this food is called kahabut, kahabut and has the influence of Indonesia and Sri Lanka in Indonesia this dish is called yellow rice in the Philippines this dish is called yellow next the next is bikambun bikambun is a kind of conventionary from Indonesia made from ingredients such as eggs sugar and coconut milk bikambun is generally salt with pandan flavor although now there are also other flavors like durian cheese and chocolate bikambun usually can survive in the in the best condition for about four days because after that the cake starts to harden next the next is gulai gulai is a dish made from raw chicken fresh fish goats cows oval or vegetables such as young jackfruit and cassava leaves which are processed in spices that test savory the distinctive characteristics of gulai are spices that are rich in spices including turmeric co coriander, pepper, galangal, ginger, red chili, onion, garlic, fennel, nutmeg, lemongrass, cinnamon, and, tum and cumin which are mustard mixed the, then cooked in coconut milk this 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 has a characteristic yellow due to the influence of several juice this food is con considered another for form of curry and internationally it is it is often referred to as an Indonesia curry. Although in Indonesia culinary arts curries are also found. The next next is tongseng. Tongseng is a kind of curry with more sharp helps the most difference is use is the use of the meat. Tongseng is made using meat that is still attached to the bone, especially the ribs and spine. Tongseng generally uses mutton, although there are also beef and buffalo tongseng. In, in addition, vegetables are included in thick gravy such as cabbage, garlic, tomatoes, and soy sauce. The, the marinade is oseng oseng, which consists of a mixture of salt, garlic, soy sauce, and pepper. Usually, tongs are sold together with goat satay. Tongseng is considered as a typical food of Solo and surrounding area, but there but there are also variation of tongseng sir tahu in kebumen. Next, the next is ekras. Ekras is a native food of Jakarta, Betawi, with white sticky rice ingredients. Chicken X AB marinade dried shrimp, which is dried roasted plus fried salads, then given method spices in the form of coconut roasted, dried chili, kencur, ginger, pepper, granule, salt, and sugar. Next, the next is Srabi. Srabi is a traditional market snack originating from Indonesia. There are two types types of pancakes which are sweet pancakes that use kin kincha liquid brown sugar and salt pancake with or with hot spicy on jump sprinkles on top in Bandung. Srabi is usually salt in the meaning and cooked using a stove to produce a distinctive taste. Sometimes the second chicken eggs are added to the cooked pancake mixture. Along with the times, many continue to innovate by adding various toppings such as sausage, cheese, and mayonnaise, the purpose of which is to break the assumption 
that pancake is a food that seems inferior a place that serves pancakes with a variety of flavor spread in big city in big cities are such as Jakarta Bandung and Bogor next next is gudeg Gudeg is a typical Yogyakarta and Central Java food made from young jackfruit cooked with coconut milk. It takes horse to make this dish. Brown is usually produced by thick leaves cooked together. Gudeg is eaten with rice and served with thick coconut milk. Are free free range chicken, eggs, tofu, and sambal goreng recek. There are various warm variants including dry gudeg which is gudeg served with thick area is much thick thicker than coconut milk in padang cuisine wet warm which is warm served with runi are gudeg solo which is a uh, warm white color the next is soto banjar soto banjar is a typical soto banjar tribe south kalimantan with the main ingredient of chicken and has a fragrant aroma of spice such as cinnamon nutmeg and cloves there are times when making soto banjar broth can be mixed with a little milk which makes the color of the sauce not clear but little cloudy the soto contains shared chicken meat with extra cakes boiled potatoes Boiled eggs, carrot, and rhombus paste. Like soto ayam, soto banjar rice in the form of onion, garlic, and pepper, but do not use turmeric seasoning such with a little cooking oil or samin oil until fragrant before putting it in a chicken stew sauce. Spice will be removed so that they do not come into the bowl when served. Soto Banjar Biasanya seller also serves chicken satay as a companion menu Rice soap is the name for Soto Banjar which is special to a plate of rice Next The next is Mi Aceh Mi Aceh is a typical Asian, Asian spicy noodle dish in Indonesia Thick yellow noodle with sliced beef, mutton or seafood shrimp and squid are served in a savory and spicy curry type soup. Aceh noodles are available in three types. Fried Aceh noodles, fried and dried, stir fried Aceh noodles with a little sauce, and mi Aceh kuah soup. It is usually sprinkled with fried onions and served with chips place of red onion, cucumber, and lime. Next. The next is pendap. Pendap is one of the typical foods in Bengkulu province. Pendap or commonly called paste fish is able to complete with a number of other culinary. This typical food from Bengkulu has penetrated the market in a number of cities number of city in Indonesia such as Jakarta, Lampung, Palembang, Pangkal Pinang, and Jambi. Bendap has a distinctive taste that can arouse appetite, especially the distinctive aroma of taro leaves as a wrapper. Amazingly, this food that has a spicy and savory taste has also successfully penetrated Raisin markets starting from Australia, Belgium, Jap Japan, and other countries. Pendap is pendap is often a favorite food of tourists from inside Sumatra and outside of Sumatra. The pelt has simil similarities with pepper fish, especially the way of making it. The difference is the material used and taro. Leaves as a wrapper and paired with raffia straps. Next, next is street. Street is a typical Malay food in Lampung, Indonesia, which is bread or baked fish mixed with 
shrimp paste, tempoyak, process, durian, or mango. The type of fish is the size or river of river fish such as blade bow, layers, edge, plus vegetables. While the drink is ser- sorbet made from quinine mango juice. In food stores and souvenirs, there are also special foods such as lampung sauce, lempok or dodol, banana chips, kemplang crackers, sweet, etc. Next, the next is Taliwang chicken. Taliwang chicken is a typical food of Taliwang West Sumbawa, West Nusa Tenggara, based on chicken meat. The chicken meat is burned with dried red chili, herbs, salads, garlic, tomato, fried shrimp, fried shrimp pasta, kencur brown sugar, and salt. This food is usually served with other typical Lombok food such as kale pleasing. Lighting. Next, the next is Conroe soap. soap is a typical Indonesian beef rib soap originating from the Bugis and Makassar tradition. The soap is usually made with beef ribs or beef. This black, this blackish brown broth is usually eaten with burasa and ketupat, which are cut into pieces. For this dark color comes from cloak fruit which is indeed black. The marinade is relatively strong due, due to the use of coriander. The spicy and spicy flavor is made from a mixture of spicy spices such as coriander family, fruit that cause black dish, little nutmeg, turmeric, kencur, cinnamon, sour, lemon leaves, cloves, and bay leaves. Next, the next is Binte Biluhuta. Binte Biluhuta, milu siram or corn soup, is a typical food of Gorontalo people. This food is a soup consisting of corn, fish, or shrimp, which is formulated in such a way as to produce a menu that is very tasty and hot and has three distinctive flavors which are sweet, salty, and spicy in Indonesian. Binte which means corn and Gorontalo people often call it milu, while biluhuta, bilu, biluhuta means wa, wa, water, so if it, if it is in, interpreted as a water corn, because it is made from corn, this food this food can destroy cholesterol, especially bad cholesterol, LDL, in the body. The content of carot, carot, carotenoids, bioflavonoids, and vitamin C in corn works as a controller of cholesterol levels and increase blood flow in the body. Next, next is papeda. Papeda is a food the form of Maluku and Papua Savo porridge, which is usually served with tuna or mubara, which are flavored with tum- turmeric. The papeda is white and has a sticky texture resembling blue with a tasteless taste. Papeda is a fiber-rich, low cholesterol, and nutrition food. Next. The next is sago cake. Sago cake is a cake that is made by requiring a longer time because before the cake mixture is made, it must make surrounding first, namely the coconut pulp. 
which is smeared to red. Serundeng is mixed with sago, eggs, brown sugar, and coconut milk. The cooking method is pa is put into a special baking sheet or mold and then baked oven. These cakes are typical of the Thousand Island. The next is nastar. Nastar is a kind of past pastry from flour, butter. Nastar is a kind of pastry from flour, butter, and egg dough filled with pineapple jam, as long as he said from Dutch and, and, and bananas and tart. The shape of the cake is round with a diameter of about two centimeters. Above it is often decorated with small pieces of raisins or fluffs. In addition, no, nastar is also made with other fruit jams such as strawberries, blueberries, and other. Nastar is usually served on holiday starting from Christmas Eid to Chinese New Year. Nastar is usually sold in plastic jar containers or at bakery, cake shops and supermarkets where Nastar itself has now developed with a variety of Nastar recipes that very pastries like Nastar are cake that are very popular with the public at the moment of the barren arrival. This cake is usually served to welcome guests as well as families who visit the house. The next the next is semur. Semur is a boiled meat this from Indonesia that is processed in a deep brown sauce made from sweet soy sauce, onion, onion, nutmeg, and cloves. Sweet soy sauce made from black soybeans is the most important ingredient in the process of making stews because it serves, serves to strengthen the taste, but it must still feel harmoniously blended with other ingredients in addition to the main ingredients of beef and potato. Stills also stand from various variations in the presentation such as the addition of tofu, tempeh, eggs, fish, and other ingredients. According to the taste of the people in their respective region, Next, the next is sambal goreng hati. Sambal goreng hati is a food with chicken gizzard, ingredient with chili sauce, and additional petai. This is one type of cuisine that is quite popular in Indonesian household, especially for special events such as social gathering and wedding party. Sambal goreng hati is a dish that is usually served during it together with opor, with opor, and opor, the chicken opor and ketupat, especially in Central Java, D and S Java. Next, the next is pindang eggs are a, a type of Chinese cuisine, namely boiled egg preparation using certain herbs so that they have a distinctive taste, aroma, and appearance. In the area of origin, pindang eggs are sold as snack, stick half cooked, stick half cooked eggs. Eggs are broken down and boiled again. In tea and spices, this cuisine is usually sold by street vendors or night markets in cities inhabited by Chinese communities around the world. Although 
originating in China and traditionally associated with Chinese. Cases in other similar recipes and variations have been developed throughout Asia. Pindang eggs are known as the egg of tea in China and as mar marble egg, lead marble egg in English. The naming is due to pindang eggs having a brownish pattern similar to marble. The types of eggs used are usually chicken eggs. Okay, maybe just all of my food time presentation. I hope that those who watch this video will appreciate the, the food in this world. For those who have watched this video, I thank you.